you guys just want to do my first well first in a long time kind of vlog style video excuse my hair it's crazy first time being out of the house in literally since sunday and it's friday so we really needed to get out of the house so we're gonna go down to this little place in the city um take you guys on the journey. I want to try to start doing vlogs because I think they're really a great way to share your life with people. And yeah, I just want to hear guys. Got a lot going on this morning. Anyways. yeah we had a good time the other day when we went down to that place at the it's called the pearl in san antonio really love it i'm actually making dinner right now so i decided let me go ahead and finish this attempt of a vlog also i wanted to talk to you guys about um my social media struggle lately <laughs> i had posted my a last my last video was on why i left social media and then i ended up getting back on social media today um, not really intentionally, but I wanted to just kind of share my journey with the Holy Spirit and social media because I think it's a, it's a delicate balance with it all. So basically I shared on my last video, which I took down because I am on social media now, just in moderation. So I didn't want to have two different messages going out there one second okay so sorry yeah I didn't want to have two different kinds of messages going on out there but um you know it's been a, a battle for me with social media because I see the pros and cons of it uh, we can go over the pros first it's for me the pros are um, you know I'm a Christian I think being a light you know that scripture that says don't hide your light under a bushel you know i want to let my light shine for all to see you know so that's definitely a pro for me um also another pro is connections you know i have relationships that i've had on there since the beginning of facebook social media whenever it started in 2007 and um sorry my little boy wants my attention so um you know i've had connections on there here you go for a long time and just getting rid of those connections is it's hard you know because sometimes you don't have people's phone numbers One second, guys. anyways um so those are and also another pro is um the ability to share information in bulk you know like this video for instance if i want to share a message i don't have to text 20 people i could just post a video and I'm good you know my message will get out there fast to a lot of people you know so communication travels faster um, you have to do less work you know to communicate so one of the cons I think for me is um, distraction that's one of the biggest cons you know like if you don't have a control on it and like self-control I think one of the biggest cons could be that you're distracted and you're not in the present moment, which is why I initially deleted it. Let me get my child one second. Okay. Which is why I initially deleted it. Um, another con is, you know, there's a lot of pretense and people showing only what we want people to see online. That was getting on my nerves. Um, also, just relationships can be different in person versus online. Um, it's another con. Also, just your mental like clutter. The mental clutter that can take place when you're just always scrolling, you know? It really can be an addiction, you know? So, the new balance I came to today. <laughs> Uh, I literally had totally gotten off, thought I permanently deleted, went back in to operate my ministry page only, and my all of my accounts were reactivated, I guess, because the meta 
that are connected, the metaverse. So anyways, ended up reactivating my accounts and really was glad to be back on, not to be like caught up in everything, just because I have a lot of connections online that I don't have their numbers. I my only connection to them is on social media, you know, and um, it is a great way of communicating with people. And I am a huge people person, communicator, connector, sharer, you know, of like my life of, you know, you know, God's word, anything, you know, that I feel I want to share. So I ended up getting back on and just kind of was like, you know what, I'm not going to delete all these connections that I've really worked for, you know, in relationships and throughout seasons of life have picked up different relationships that I value. And um, I'm not going to just get rid of all of that, you know, and I'm thankful that there is a grace period if you do come back. I didn't know there was that. So I thought I permanently deleted and that was it. If ever I came back, I'd have to rebuild, you know, my online relationships. But thankfully I don't. So what my new plan is, is um, to just really be, no, 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 be in moderation with it and um, log off like halfway through the day, either spend, sorry, either spend the morning on it and then do what I need to do or whatever I want to share and then get off of it for the afternoon and evening or <laughs> share in the evening. I mean, share in the, you know, kind of flip flop, be off in the morning, share in the evening. I really plan to be off in the evening though to just focus on my family, focus on, you know, bro, bro, um, my husband, you know, making dinner like I'm doing now and just kind of focus on my family. I think that's really what my priority needs to be, you know, be present with those that have chosen, chose, chosen, <laughs> chosen to do life with you, you know, um, and some not chosen. He was just brought into here by the Lord. So, <laughs> but anyways, uh, so that's what I wanted to share. Just kind of like my experience. So I'm logging off no more than half the day. Am I going to be on? you know, social media. So really just a couple hours in the morning is what I'm planning. And then just totally de like deleting the apps for the day. Cause for me, if I don't delete the apps, I will get back in there somehow. It's like my fingers just find it, you know, on my phone. So I delete the apps. Like I deleted them for the day today other than my YouTube. And, um, that's going to be my plan, you know, and then also taking necessary breaks when I feel like I need to, and or if it's becoming an idol or an addiction, I need to say, okay, you're taking a week off. Like I took all last week off, not intending to ever come back on, but I do see the value of being a light and um, people need light, you know, in every place of the world. You know, Jesus said to shine your light, you know, and for the world to see. And I don't think that, you know, just because something has, a con you know to it are a few cons we have to also be real and look at the pros you know so with that said i don't think he likes me talking to the camera i'm gonna go ahead and end this video but thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna finish making dinner and love you guys have a great day